Welcome back. So today I have for you a homeware haul. It has finally come to the time where I'm going to be able to redo my bedroom, which I know I've been talking about for the longest time. Thought I would do a huge homeware haul for you guys. Well, it's not huge, but I'm very excited to do this. I've got little bits and bobs from like bedding to just random bits. I haven't got a ton. Also, sorry if I sound a bit weird. I've got a cold, so that's great. But I had a sore throat yesterday and the sore throat has gone. I'm just coldy now. So, let's get into this. So yeah, most of you, I know I've, I will put a timestamp if you are just interested in the haul and not in this whole blah 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 black story. So, my nan has moved house and back in literally the beginning of the year, she said I could have the double bed from their bedroom. So I was very excited, came to April time and she moved house and I didn't end up getting the bed then because she was going backwards and forwards between the house that's near me and her new house so obviously she needed somewhere to sleep so I never got the bed however the house has been sold and she is no longer going to be keeping it so I'm going to be getting the bed at the beginning of October so I'm redoing my room I'm so the bed is a whole different aesthetic to my current room I'm following some similar things um, I would say my room right now is kind of that glam vibe and now I'm moving into more glam boho so that's what I'm doing <laughs> I'm very excited so yeah I've got a wooden bed I'm getting a bamboo desk I'm keeping my like white and mirrored wardrobes and I'm getting like a white bed to table and another set of drawers I'm basically treating myself because I feel like I'm a completely different person than when I was when I made this room so I'm just ready to get it to me now if that makes any sense at all okay I'm getting really hot now so I'm taking my cardigan off okay so my color scheme I've got wood and I've got white and then I'm I'm still keeping some of the pink tones I've got one pink wall in my bedroom and I want to keep that because I like that vibe so first things first let's start off with the most boring thing probably in this haul and that is a duvet cover um, so this is a Fogarty anti-allergy duvet cover Honestly, the only reason I went for the anti-allergy over the normal is this one I could collect from my local Dunelm and the other one I couldn't. So yeah, this was £27 but I did get it on sale so it was a lot cheaper. I've got it in the double size because I'm getting a double bed and it's just white. So that's what I got. Um, pillowcases and everything I'm already going to have so I didn't need that. I just thought I would show you these but these are just some grey pillowcases which I think are from Dunelm, yeah. These were my sister's, but she doesn't ha want them anymore. And these will work perfectly for my vibe. So these are gonna be like the behind pillows. So I've got two of those pillowcases, and then obviously I will have white. The next probably most boring thing, some pillows. Um, my mum treated me to some new pillows. Uh, these are gonna be like the proper nice looking pillows. So these are just Fogarty light and lofty waffle pillow i really like the feeling of these so very excited to use these i'm going through this so quickly because i don't actually have a lot to show but we're milking it the next thing i got which was actually like the first thing i bought to go in my bedroom were some decorative pillows i've got a lot of decorative pillows i went a bit ott but honestly i'm just excited to have a big bed and have lots of pillows i saw these on the website and i just had to buy them because i wasn't sure if they were going to sell out so these were 18 pounds each which i think is kind of expensive for decorative pillows but i'm going with it because i love them so this is what they look like so i picked up two of these these are going to go in front of both of my thingies so yeah i just loved the colors in these i love how it has pinks and it has purples and it's like to me it's kind of a boho vibe because it's tassely i've been talking too much already my voice is going but these are the ava deluxe cushion from Dunelm. they have these in like some sagey green colors which is actually one of my favorite colors at the moment so if any of you are obsessed with that kind of color they have them they also have some in like burnt orange colors which are perfect for autumn then the next decorative cushion i got to go in front of that is this one so if you guys can imagine my vibe we've got the two pink ones then this gray one in front and this is kind of like a knitted kind of vibe with a pom-pom on each corner this is really really soft this was also from Dunelm this is called the knitted cushion pom-pom knit 
and I don't know how much it was. Ah, it was £15 and I love it. They did also have this in pink, but I thought that's just too much pink for me, so we went for the light grey. Can't always find the same grey tones, but I think they go pretty nicely. And then the final faux cushion, as I said, I went a bit OTT, is this kind of pinky colour, but it's not like an obnoxious pink, and it's shouldn't... <coughs> My voice is going again. You know when you've had a cold and then you talk and your throat just goes dry? Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, pink, chenille, pom-poms, love this. This was also from Danelm. Danelm, said that weird. It's the sumptuously, sumptuously soft cushion chenille pom-pom and it was £12. So yeah, my vibe, you've got the two pink, you've got the grey and then you've got this one in front and I just think that it's really cute and I will just show you. The colours pick up really well and the grey is going to break it up so it's not too like in your face pink. Oh, I need a glass of water. So we're nearly through with bedding. The final thing that I had to get, obviously, was a throw. So the throw that I picked up was from Dunelm. It's this darker grey colour, which I really love. Um, I know it's not the same grey, but I think they go nicely enough and they're going to be like slightly separated. So I think it's okay. This is a big throw. This is 200 by 200 approximately, so it is a double size. It will fit completely over my bed. Obviously I have quite a lot of throws, <laughs> quite a few actually, already, but they don't fit a double bed, they're single bed size, so I had to pick up a bigger one. This was, I don't know how much it is, but I was going to go for a teddy bear throw, but I actually liked the vibe of this instead, and it's so soft. This is the Evan throw. It doesn't say how much it is, I'll pop it on the screen how much it is, but yeah, really love this vibe. Okay, some other random things now, this is literally just all the random stuff that I bought to go with the room. So, the first thing is a lamp for my bedside table. I originally wanted a salt lamp and I still might buy a salt lamp um, but it just won't go on my bedside table. So this is just from Dunelm. God, I've spent a lot of money on Dunelm, haven't I? And it's this grey pleated lamp and it's one of the touch activated which is probably going to annoy me. This was £12 but I did get it on sale. I can't remember how much for it. It was a while ago but I thought this picked up the greys really nicely. So that's just a little bedside lamp. And what else did we get? Okay, this is another big thing. So I originally ordered a basket from Dunelm and it was black and it looked really good in the picture. Didn't read the dimensions, which I should have because when I picked it up from the shop, it was literally like this big. And I was like, <laughs> so I literally returned it as I picked it up and I saw this one in the shop, which I originally really liked, but I thought it'd be too big. But I realized that it's actually perfect. So it is this basket which I've wanted a basket for the longest time this is the tapered paper rope basket brown which was 18 pounds which is approximately 35 by 45 centimeters just so you can kind of gauge how big this is and basically I wanted a basket to put all my blankets in um because I have a lot of them <laughs> next thing I bought is this photo frame again from Dunelm like I swear I've never bought this much stuff from Dunham, but like I have. Um, so this is a 10 by 8 floating frame in grey washed wood. It was £6. The thing I have to go in this is actually a little bit big, I think. Um, I'm not keeping this plant in it, although it's quite a cute print, so I might actually keep the print, um, just put it up somewhere else. But I basically bought this because I have this picture that my nan painted and I got it when she moved and she's cleared everything out and again as you can see the colour of those flowers just picks up perfectly I literally fought my mum for this um, <laughs> so yeah I've got this which I'm going to put up in my bedroom it's a little bit I think because if I show you there it's still got some of the glass so what I might do is get a little border thing to go around it but I just thought that would be really cute because obviously it's not like a classic photo size, size, if that makes sense. So I just found the closest frame I could that I liked, so yeah, got that. This thing I'm just showing you anyway because I got it when my nan moved and I just thought I may as well show you because I'm going to try and find a use for it but I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It's literally just this little like set of drawers, I don't know if I will end up using it but if not I thought it's just something useful to have, it's literally just four like little drawers. Um, but I just thought it was cute. So I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Even just like putting random little things in it, which I have no place for because I have a lot of those things. And I'm really 
removing a lot of storage space when I redo my bedroom because a double bed is going to take up a lot more space so I'm going to have a lot less storage space in here. So the last three things I've got are all to go on my dressing table because obviously I'm downsizing so the one I'm getting which is this one here well fingers crossed I'm getting it only has three small drawers and you literally can't fit anything bigger than like that tall in it so my makeup won't fit in there so I bought a few things to store my makeup so these things were all off of Amazon I will link these down below I'll try and link everything below um first thing is this palette organizer basically you literally slot all of your eyeshadow palettes in here and this will sit hopefully on some shelves otherwise I'm gonna have to rethink the plan but I think it's gonna sit on, sh on some shelves on the wall but I don't know because that might look ugly that was the idea but it might not it might not work out the next thing I got which I really love is this metal thing which will keep all of my hair tools so my hair dryer my straighteners and my mum's curlers which are my mum's but I've literally had them in my room for like two months and I don't think she's realized so they're mine now <laughs> um, but yeah I just keep will keep them in here and I've actually been using this for the last few weeks everything everything else in my bedroom I refuse to use until I redo it but this thing I needed because my hair tools were just a mess it really helps to keep it organized I keep my curler in here my straighteners in here and the curler oh my god I said that's so wrong my hair dryer in here straighteners in here curler in here and obviously because it's slightly off the ground it if it's still hot you can put it in and it's not gonna set fire to anything so that's a plus we don't like fires in the home okay the final thing I've got is the thing to store all of my makeup in so I can't remember what size this was but um, they basically had loads of different options you could choose from and I picked this one um, so it obviously comes separate because it'd fall apart but I've got this top section which has some lipstick holders which I don't have enough to fill but it's fine this little section at the top two sections of the big section and this set of drawers so this goes on top uh, yeah I can't fit a lot in here but I can fit all my makeup in just maybe not in the most organized way so I'm still figuring that out but yeah these are pretty well priced for this kind of thing and that's just gonna sit on my desk with all of my makeup in it because that's what I need. The other things that I haven't bought yet, which I'm thinking about buying, are shelves, obviously. Um, I'm thinking of getting a new little mirror to go on my desk because the one I've got is rose gold and it's just gonna look wrong on wood, I think, so I'm gonna change that. I'm also going to get some spray paint for, you can actually see it in the reflection, wait. Here, my photo grid. I want to keep that but the rose gold isn't my vibe, so I want to get a grey, this kind of colour grey, and spray it grey, and then update all of the photos on it, because some of them are really old. Um, some of them I want to keep, but like, all of the like, tickets, and that kind of thing, are just looking really old now, and I just want to remove them, and just replace them with like, memories, like photo memories. Um, is there anything else I'm looking at buying? So yeah, obviously my furniture I need to buy. I'm looking at buying a couple like fake plants. And I'm also looking at possibly buying some jewellery holder segments to go in my new set of drawers. But that is it. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this little homeware haul that I've done for you guys. And hopefully there will be a room transformation video coming soon. Uh, I've got a few little marks that need going over. Yeah. I mean, I have a rose gold hook for my door, but that's staying rose gold because I really can't be bothered to unscrew that from the door. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else really to tell you guys, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Just really chill and chatty, my fave kind of videos. Um, and I will see you guys soon with another one. Bye! Oh, 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 I can't breathe without your love.